uh, pursue devotional service. So you can say they are more like sakam and bhaktas. Yeah. So they only are more into sense. They know Vishnu, they'll pray to Vishnu, but they're more interested in sense and journey. But then there are different examples so then we get to learn about from them. Yeah, the whole thing, the whole Purana is everything is set up so that we can learn what not to do wrong and what. Yeah. And do what we need to do. Okay. That's 32. Evam Kama Varam Dattva Evam Kama Varam Dattva Ati Jagmu Sureshwara Ati Jagmu Sureshwara Stayo Samyag Sajita Stayo Samyag Dampatyo Misato Stata Thus while the couple looked on the three deities Brahma, Vishnu and Vaishwara disappeared from that place after bestowing upon Atri Muni the benediction. Text 33. Somo good Brahmano Hangsena. Somo good Brahmano Hangsena. Rato Vishnu Stu Yoga Vid. Rato Vishnu Stu Yoga Vid. Durvasa Sankaras Yangso. Durvasa Sankaras Yangso. Nibodangi Rasha Praja. Nibodangi Rasha Praja. After from the partial representation of Brahma, the moon god was born of them. From the partial representation of Vishnu, the great mystic Dattatreya was born. And from the partial representation of Shankara, Lord Shiva, Durvasa was born. Now you may, may hear from me of the many sons of Angira. So now he's going to talk about someone else. But there's another story also, a mystery of place when the sages come. So this pastime happens many times, so in a different age, so that pastime may be in a different uh, fashion. Okay. So in that story, basically, she says, I want you to be a Vedis, so they form into three small Vedis. This can still happen, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, this happened on the Prabhu. No. Oh, it can still happen. Yeah. 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 If she's yeah. meditating yeah. on the Supreme Brahman. Yeah. They want to yeah. test or something. It's just oh. they wanted to test the chastity of Anyway, oh, I don't know all that. Some of these are made up too, so we have to be careful. Text 34. Just go in the yatra. Shadda tu angira sapatni. Shadda tu angira sapatni. Chattasro sutta kanyakaha. Chattasro sutta kanyakaha. Sinivali kuhu raka. Sinivali kuhu raka. Chaturti anumatistata. Chaturti anumatistata. Angira's wife, Shadda, gave birth to four daughters named Sinivali, Kuhu, Raka, and Anumati. Tadputrao aparao astam. Tadputrao aparao astam. Kyatao swaro chise antare. Kyatao swaro chise antare. Tatyo Bhagavan Shaksha Brahmistascha Brihaspati Besides these four daughters, she also had another two sons. One of them was known as Utatya and the other was the learned scholar Brihaspati. Who became the teacher of all the Devatas. Devatas, demigod, priests of the Devatas. Text 36. Pulastyo jana yad patnyam. Pulastyo jana yad patnyam. Agastyam cha havir bhuvi. Agastyam cha havir bhuvi. Swanya janmani dharagni. Swanya janmani dharagni. Vishravas cha mahatapaha. Vishravas cha mahatapaha. Pulastyo begot in his wife, havir bhu. One son of the name Agastya, who in his next birth became Dharagni. Besides him, Pulastya begot another very great and saintly son, whose name was Vishrava. 
Vishrava had two wives. The first wife was Ida Vida, from whom Kuvera, the master of all Yakshas, was born. And the next wife was named Keshini, from whom three sons were born, Ravana, Kumbhakarna and Vibhishana. So this is the Rakshasha Vamsa starting, the Yaksha starting like that. So she had two sons? No, five sons. Five sons. Yeah. And from whom? Yeah, she says two sons. Vishwara no. <laughs> had two sons. What? So she got, got the demons and she got like demons and the Yeah, why not? How the whole world is populated. So... So from the demigods, their children also some are different. Tell you where the birds coming from, where the insects coming from, like that. <laughs> so there was one demigoddess who gave birth to insects. But at the same time, you have one son who is good and another son. Yeah, I was going to say that. So you can have a Rakshasa son and a god's son. Like uh, Hiranyakashipu's son is is Pralad Maharaj. He is a pure devotee. Hiranyakashipu is a demon. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> so, Diti, yeah, they yeah, had like, so Rakshasa yeah. also came from that Same branch. Yeah. Then, no, they are says Dhanavas and Daitis. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They are different, are Rakshasa are different. They are, they are known as night crawlers or night stalkers. Yeah, these guys will drink blood. <coughs> these, are these are special guys. No, Yakshas are uh, from Kuverasa. Yeah. Then the Rakshasas are coming from Keshini. the Keshini, Keshini, the mother Keshini. So why do some people name their daughter Keshini? Though? Why not? These are all demigods. No? Keshini means what? <laughs> what does Keshini means? Yeah. Nice, beautiful hair. So yeah. Radharani has nice, beautiful hair. So most of the feminine names are Radharani's name. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and all the masculine names are all Krishna's names. So you can't say this is wrong or right. But sometimes it describes a personality. So like Hiranyakashipu, you know. Yeah, so he was pampered like that. But then, it's, but then you know, if you look at Hiranyaksha, description of Hiranyaksha, remember the third candle he had? Thanks, but he was a son of Diti. <laughs> yeah, so he's that quality, and then he he grew thanks, huh? Yeah, so he's a deity, you know, Diti, Diti's son. So, we're missing the point of you know, where these people are coming. Pulatsi and Vishwa, these are all sons of somewhere. They they all in the lineage, you know. But like, whose son are these people? Whose son? Yeah. So, so now you want to go back. Okay, Habibur marries Pulastya. Yeah. One of the sages. Yeah. No, we no Habibu. We are going through Habibu. Habibu You're not is, talking about Pulastya. Habibu, Habibu is... Habibu is... Habibu is... Habibu is... Habibu is... Pulastya is... Pulastya is... Thank you. Not like that. Please. How... You look carefully. We, we just Habibu now have to go back again. One of the son... He married the wife Habibu. Right? Pulastya because his wife Habibu. Wife, wife. Habibu. Wife of Pulastya. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to show the family tree right now. Okay, do the family tree. Pulasya <laughs> son of Brahma. Yeah. Pulasya son of Brahma. That's true. No, no. We are here, right? Yeah. Devanati is finished. Now we are looking at Kuti and Prasuti. Okay. Twelve other daughters, and then he said, 
before he went he said now we are going to talk about angira angira so you have to look for angira in that chat but angira is married to shradha no don't worry about that where is angira angira is one of the sons of brahma so then he went to talk about angira yeah yeah that's what i'm saying so he's talking about these two personalities and who they married okay and should be the daughter of yeah so one of the daughters he's marrying and i don't know which side is there twelve daughters maybe uh, okay so no, this is not complete angira is on the top where marichi is there so anyway this all progenitors let's not get caught up with all this sequence yes yes the famous rules there's uh, no sequence because he, he jumped to that yeah. so he married habibu and habibu must be one of the daughters yeah, of prasuti yeah. or oh, daksha yeah. daksha's daughter that's how i'm thinking okay let's not worry now anyway don't worry about it. No, this is not test question. Yes. No, it won't be. Don't worry. But child is on. Okay, let's not waste time. Text text thirty eight. Kula hasya gadir badya. Kula hasya gadir badya. Rin asuta sati sutan. Rin asuta sati sutan. Mishrishtam variyamsan Karmashtam variyamsan Hisnum cha maha mate Gati, the wife of the sage Pulaha, gave birth to three sons named Karmashrishta, Variyan and Sahishnu. And all of them were very great, were great sages. Gati, the wife of Pulaha, was the fifth daughter of Kardama Muni. She was very faithful to her husband, and all the sons were as good as he. I think uh, Habibu was the daughter of uh, Kardam Muni, actually. I don't know. The because he's all daughters, he's explaining. Her. Because he's explaining the daughters <laughs> of Kardam Muni. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tanasuya also. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, let me check it out and tell you. Because yeah. this yeah. lineage is strange. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, that's seven that's other daughters. Seven other daughters. Okay. Yeah. So we we are not sure. Yeah, Gati. Yeah, Gati is the daughter of Kardamani. Kardamani. Okay. Anyway, let's not worry so much. But one thing is not important. Don't worry about it so much. Okay. I'll find out and I'll tell you who this personality is. Kratu rabi kriya barya. Kratu rabi kriya barya. Malakil ya na suyata. Malakil ya na suyata. Shin sasti sahasrani. Shin sasti sahasrani. Dalato brahma tejasa. Dalato brahma tejasa. You need all the charts to remember. I remember my grandmother knew everything. <laughs> they somehow they think they can tell you, and you are like, what are they talking about? So they were pretty good, na? No? Kratu's wife Kriya gave birth to sixty thousand great sages named Valakilyas. <laughs> All these sages were greatly advanced spiritual knowledge, and their bodies were illuminated by such knowledge. I don't know whether they were big or very small. <clears throat> okay, so this is you are right. So they're talking about Kardama Muni's daughters, because Prabhat now is saying. Kriya was the sixth daughter of Kardamani. Yeah. Huh? Sixty. No, then come. Kapuji has a question. How? He has a question. A very simple question. Did they all come at once? Sixty thousand years. Well, you can say both ways because these are long living personalities. But but generally in the in the demigod level, the the children can be born at one time. And they're born as adults, okay? It's possible they they. Take birth immediately; they grow up. Yeah, Vyasadev uh, himself. Text forty. 
Sometimes called Arandati, seven spotlessly great sages, aided by the sage named Chitra K2. So these are the Saptarishis now? I'm not sure. We already went through the Saptarishis, yes. Mm -hmm. But in the words it says Saptarishis. Possible, but... Uh, seven seven sages are born. Yeah, they are born. Seven. So there's seven. Brahma Rishis are the... There is Vashishta, Marichaya, and all those people. Yeah, that's at a higher level. The seven, oh, the lot changes. Yeah. They change after every, yes. So, probably this Chitra Kitu is the king. No, this, the name could be the same. It's not the king. Text 41. Chitra Ketu Suro Chischa Chitra Ketu Suro Chischa Raja Mitra Evacha Raja Mitra Evacha Urbano Vasu Vridhyano Yuman Satya Dayo Pare The names of these seven sages are as follows Chitra Ketu Suro Chi Viraja Mitra Ulbana Vasu Vridhyana and Dhyuman, some other very competent sons were born from Vasistha's other wife. They may be one so important. Urja is also another daughter of Kardama. So it's the ninth daughter. So did we jump some daughters? Hmm. You have to understand, he's still covering Swayambhu uh, Manu's uh, lineage. 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 Yeah. One yeah. So it's Devahuti's side, Children. he's covering the other seven, then he's going to go, I guess. Mm. Yeah. Text 42. <laughs> so he's finished Rakuti, that's it. Done. Okay, then he, he, he's, before going to Daksha, he's going to finish Devahuti. Mm. And then later on, he'll go to Uttanapad and then Priyavrata. Yeah, okay. Because from Daksha, the main population is like yes, mainly yes. from Daksha. From his daughters. Mm. Text 42. Chittistu Atarvana Patni. Chittistu Atarvana Patni. Leve Putram Dhritavratam. Leve Putram Dhritavratam. Dadyancham Asvashirasam Dadyancham Asvashirasam Nigorvamsam Nibodhame Chitti, wife of the sage Atharva, gave birth to a son named Ashvashira by accepting a great vow called Dadyancha. Now you may hear from me about the descendants of the sage Brigu. So, another Amira. chart. <laughs> so, this is the eighth daughter. So, he jumped the sequence. Huh? Ninth, first, then the eighth. Text 43. So, where is Brigu? Actually, uh, most of uh, Kardama Muni's daughters married there, I think. Yeah. All <laughs> the, <laughs> sons of the sons of them. All the rishis. Well, they are all progenitors, you know, they need it, so they are the first, Swango's children are the first, and they marry to populate the whole universe. Text 43. Brigyu Kyatyam Mahabhaga Brigyu Kyatyam Mahabhaga Putrana Jijana Pratyam Putrana Jijana Dattaram Cha Vidataram Dattaram Cha Vidataram Shiyam Cha Bhagavad Param Shiyam Cha Bhagavad Param Sage Brigo was highly fortunate. In his wife known as Kyati, he begot two sons named 
Data and V Data and one daughter named Sri, who was very much devoted to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. With a name like that? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Text 44. Ayatim niyatim chayva. Ayatim niyatim chayva. Sute me rusayo radha. Sute me rusayo radha. Abhyam kayo rabhavatam. Abhyam kayo rabhavatam. Mirvanda prana evacha. Mirvanda prana evacha. Sage Meru had two daughters named Ayati and Niyati, whom he gave in charity to Data and Vidata. Ayati and Niyati gave birth to two sons, Mrikanda and Prana. <laughs> Text 45. Markandeya Mrikandasya Markandeya Mrikandasya Prana Dveda Shiramuni Prana Dveda Shiramuni Kavishya Bhargavo Yasya Kavishya Bhargavo Yasya Bhagavan Vushana Sutta Bhagavan Vushana Sutta Shana is, yeah, so good. From Mirkanda, Markandeya Muni was born, and from Prana, the sage Veda Shiva, whose son was Ushana Sukracharya, also known as Kavi. Thus, Kavi also belonged to the descendants of the Brigu dynasty. Text 46 47. Kaita Munaya Shatta, Kaita Munaya Shatta, Lokan Sargay Abavayan, Lokan Sargay Abavayan, Isha Kargama Dao Hitra, Isha Kargama Dao Hitra, Santana Katitastava, Santana Katitastava, Shingadasha Dadanasya, Shingadasha Dadanasya, Papa Harapara, Sadiaba Harapara, Sutim Mana Vim Daksha, Sutim Mana Vim Daksha, Upaye Mehi Ajat Maja, Upaye Mehi Ajat Maja. The idea of the Dura, the population of the universe, was thus increased by the descendants of these sages and the daughters of Kardama. Anyone who hears the descriptions of this dynasty with faith will be relieved from all sinful reactions. Hmm. So, it's very interesting that yeah. he actually tells before this coming. Another Manu's daughter is known as Prasuti married the son of Brahma named Daksha. Yes, it's interesting. Because he mentions this before mentioning the Daksha. genealogy of Daksha. Yes. Yes. No, so he starts from the... No, why, why it's so good? He says it's very interesting and we'll find out why it's very interesting. Dakshas. <coughs> Daksha is very materially motivated, whereas all these personalities are spiritually motivated. So that's the difference. Okay. Is the same Daksha who doesn't pay respects to Shri? We'll find same, same Text 48. Right. Tasyam Sasarja Duhitri. Tasyam Sasarja Duhitri. Shodha Lochana. Lochana. Dashada Dharma Yam Magnaye Vibhu Daksha begot sixteen very beautiful daughters with lotus like eyes in his wife Prasuti. Of the sixteen daughters, thirteen were given in marriage to Dharma, and one daughter was given to Agni. Mm, now it's Prasuti. Pitribya ekam yukte dio, Pitribya ekam yukte dio, Baba yaikam, Baba echit de, Shraddha maitri daya shantis, Shraddha maitri daya shantis, Pusti pusti kriyonati, Pusti pusti kriyonati, Buddhi meda titikshahri, Buddhi meda titikshahri, Motir Dharmasya Patnaya, Motir Dharmasya Patnaya, Shraddha Sutta Subham Maitri, Shraddha Sutta Subham Maitri, Sadam Abhayam Daya, Shanti Shukam Mudam Tusti, Shanti Shukam Mudam Tusti, Smayam Pusti Asuyata, Smayam Pusti Asuyata. 
Yogam Kriyon Natir Darpam Yogam Kriyon Natir Darpam Atam Buddhir Asuyata Atam Buddhir Asuyata Meda Smritim Titikshatu Meda Smritim Titikshatu Shemam Hri Prashrayam Sutam Shemam Hri Prashrayam Sutam Muti Sarva Gunot Patir Muti Sarva Gunot Patir Nara Nara Yanav Rishi Nara Nara Yanav Rishi The remaining two daughters was given in charity to the Pitri Loka where she recites very amicably and the other was given to Lord Shiva, who is the deliverer of sinful persons from material entanglement. The names of the 13 daughters of Daksha were given to Dharma are Shraddha, Maitri, Daya, Shanti, Tusti, Pushti, Kriya, Unnati, Buddhi, Medha, Titiksha, Tri, and Murti. So these are the pillars of Dharma. These 13 daughters produced the following sons. Shraddha gave birth to Shubha. Maitri produced Prasada. Daya gave birth to Abhaya. Shanti gave birth to Shuka. Tusti gave birth to Muda. Pusti gave birth to Smaya. Kriya gave birth to Yoga. Unnati gave birth to Darpa. Buddhi gave birth to Artha. Medha gave birth to Smriti. Titiksha gave birth to Kshema and Kri gave birth to Prashraya. Murti, a reservoir of all respectable qualities, gave birth to Sri Nara Narayana, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So they are all connected. You know, like Murti is referring to the Supreme Lord. Murti is meant for the Lord, not for anything else. Like because of Unnati, you get Dappa. Yeah, all those things. Yes. Dappa yeah. is the. Everything is connected. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Like Chanti, Sukha. That means you are peaceful, then you are happy, yeah. satisfied. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Dharma is faith. If you follow religious, your faith increases like that. Tolerance gives birth to Shema. Mm. Forgiveness. And then if you follow, if you have faith, then everything is auspicious. Like auspicious. Yeah. Alright. Anyway, you can figure the rest. <laughs> Religious principles. Huh? Religious principles. Yeah, they are all born. These are all different personalities who take charge of different aspects of religion and different different things actually. Yeah. That means they weren't there before. It's not like that, right? No, it's not like that. It's always there, but now the personality is behind that. Nothing is impersonal. Yeah. So the mankind, Manu's the master of mankind. So before everything starts, they set all the rules up. So, <laughs> so there are demigods, one for each activity, basically. There is, of course. That's why we have 33 million, huh? Something like that. Tax 53. Yayur Janmani Ado Vishwam. Yayur Janmani Ado Vishwam. Adhyanan Dalsu Nir Vritam. Adhyanan Dalsu Nir Vritam. Manam Sikha Kubo Vata Manam Sikha Kubo Vata Sedu Sarito Draya Sedu Sarito Draya On the occasion of the appearance of Nara Narayana, the entire world was full of joy. Everyone's mind became tranquil, and thus in all directions the air, the rivers and the mountains became pleasant. Divya Vadyanta Turyani Divya Vadyanta Etu Kushuma Vrishtaya Etu Kushuma Vrishtaya Unayastus Tuvus Tusta Jagur Gandhar Vakinara Nirtyantisma Striyo Devya Asir Parama Mangalam, Asir Parama Mangalam, Deva Brahma Daya Sarve, Deva Brahma Daya Sarve, Pratastur Abhistavai, Pratastur Abhistavai. In the heavenly planets, bands began to play and they showered flowers from the sky. The pacified sages chanted Vedic prayers. The denizens of the heaven known as the Gandharvas and Kinnaras sang. 
The beautiful damsels of the heavenly planets dance, and in this way, at the time of the appearance of the Nara, Narayana, all signs of good fortune were visible. Just at that time, great demigods like Brahma also offered their respectful prayers. You think previously the origin of Yakshas was given, but Kimiras and Kimpurshas was not given. So here they're saying they're automatically singing, hmm. but their origin is not mentioned. Not yet. <laughs> Huh? They always created. They were created already, probably. Just like the demigods have been created, also they are also been the created. demigods are already here. Not like that, but they are all created. It's just not in it's sequence. Not yeah, but they yeah. Are somewhere in the chain here. Yeah. Yeah. It's not in the sequence. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because it's a family lineage is talking about. So you are now going back to the creation thing. So it's not in sequence. Done so. <laughs> so they already created already in the second temple. Remember we are reading here. But this is just how when each cycle comes in within the creation, when the Manus, they start populating, that's when uh, these personalities take role of certain positions. Uh, so their end, particularly this is descendants of Swamibu Manu. It's not talking about the other. It may be there somewhere, but it's not in particular about them. You know? Who's the source of Gandharvas and Kimbas? Maybe one of them, but it's not mentioned. Uh, anyway, Deva Uchu. Deva Uchu. Yoma Yaya Vira Chitani Dayat Manidam Yoma Yaya Vira Chitam Nitadat Manidam Eru Kabedam Vata Brati Chakshanaya Eru Kabedam Vata Brati Chakshanaya Ete Nadarma Sadhane Rishimuti Nadya Ete Nadarma Sadhane Rishimuti Nadya Dushchakara Purushaya Namaha Parasmai Dushchakara Purushaya Namaha Parasmai Then we got said, let us offer respectful obeisances on to the transcendental personality of Godhead who created as his external energy this cosmic manifestation which is situated in him as the air and clouds are situated in space and who has now appeared in the form of Nara Narayan Rishi in the house of Dharma. Hmm. Text 57. <coughs> so yam stiti vyati karo pasamaya sristan. So yam stiti vyati karo pasamaya sristan. Sattvena na suratana na numeya let that supreme personality of God here who is understood by truly authorized Vedic literature and who has created peace and prosperity to destroy all calamities of the created world, be kind enough to bestow his glance upon the demigods. His merciful glance can supersede the beauty of the spotless lotus flower, which is the home of the goddess of fortune. They are asking for his mercy, basically. Okay. Text 58. Evam Suragana Istata. Evam Suragana Istata. Bhagavantau Abhistu Tau. Bhagavantau Abhistu Tau. Labda Valoke Yayatu. Labda Valoke Yayatu. Chitau Gangamadanam. Chitau Gangamadanam. Maitriya said, O Virura. Thus the demigods worship with prayers the Supreme Personality of God here appearing as the sage Nara Narayana. The Lord glanced upon them with mercy and then departed for Gandhamadana Hill. Just like that. 
to do or seven. Yeah. <coughs> Text fifty nine. Tawi mau wai bagawato. Tawi mau wai bagawato. I don't think so. It is. No, no, I don't. I think it's a different place. Yeah, yes. Oh, maybe that's where that pastime of the. Yes, they are meditating, but it's in a different place. Yeah. Okay. Text fifty nine. Tao Yamau Vai who is a partial expansion of Krishna has now appeared in the dynasty of Yadu and Kuru in the forms of Krishna and Arjuna respectively to mitigate the burden of the world. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Text 60. Swaha Vivani Naschagne Swaha Vivani Naschagne Atma Jan Strin Najijana Atma Jan Strin Najijana Avakan Pavama Namcha Avakan Pavama Namcha Suchimcha Huta Bojanam Suchimcha Huta Bojanam The dominant deity of fire begot in his wife Swaha Three children named Pavaka, Pavamana, and Suchi, who exist by eating the oblations offered to the fire of sacrifice. So you throw the fire swaha, that's his wife, and then Suchi, Suchi. Hmm? So all these personalities take certain aspects of whatever we do, everything there is a personality, actions. So the one, verse 59. Yeah. It seems to suggest that Krishna is a plenary expansion of Narana and Vishnu. No, that's how you are thinking. Mm -hmm. But it's not. Okay. <laughs> no, it's not. You should know by now. No, so you know, but why does it say like that? No, no it says that Narana and Vishnu is a partial expansion of Yes. Yeah. You read, that's okay. how you are thinking. Okay. Okay. No, that's how he's thinking, but it's not. <laughs> so you're misreading it. So Nara Narayan is an expansion of Krishna, not Krishna is an expansion of Nara Narayan. Okay? Yeah, that Nara Narayan who is partial expansion of Krishna. So when Krishna is in Dwaraka and so on, he is not full. Okay? Mm he's -hmm. like Narayan. But when Krishna is Gaur, in Goloka, I mean in Vrindavan, he is the original Krishna. Yeah. So you have to know uh, how. Okay, Prabhupada writes that. Um, my prayer informed Viduraya that Nara, the portion of Narayana, appeared in the family of the Kurus, and that Narayana, the plenary explanation of Krishna, had come as Krishna, the Supreme Person of Godhead. So, in, in, in that Yadu dynasty, he is Krishna. Narayana. Narayana, Krishna. Or Vasudeva Krishna, like that. So, that's a plenary portion of Krishna. So therefore, he says, plenary expansion of Krishna has come as Krishna. No, you see, you don't seem to understand. That's why it's getting difficult, you know. You're not understanding what a plenary expansion of Krishna is. An expansion of an expansion. He can have the same name. Okay? And Krishna, Vishnu also can have the name Krishna. Okay? So you are confusing. Whenever you hear Krishna, you immediately think the Supreme only person. Supreme Person, and then you confuse with the data you have. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Sometimes the expansions are the same. Like Adi Shankarshana, then you have Shankarshana, right? So many Shankarshanas, but they are different Shankarshana. Yes, Krishna also. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's there's one sixteen thousand one hundred eight Krishnas in Dwaraka, right? Mm. Yeah, so it's like that. So everyone is Krishna, but they are not 
So same way, the Krishna will appear in uh, in, in Yadu dynasty. He's a plenary expansion of the Krishna. That's what I, I want you to understand. Yeah. Okay. Text sixty one. Tevyo gnaya samabhavan. Tevyo gnaya samabhavan. Chatvarim sacha panchacha. Chatvarim sacha panchacha. Na evaiko no panchasa. Na evaiko no panchasa. Sakam pitri pita mahai. Sakam pitri pita mahai. From those three sons, another forty five descendants were generated who are also fire gods. The total number of fire gods is therefore 49, including the fathers and the grandfather. Mm -hmm. The grandfather is Agni, and the sons are Pavaka, Pavamana, and Suchi. Counting these four plus 45 grandsons, they are all together 49 different fire gods. Agni Devas. So they all take the position. <laughs> because they are like, you know, qualified king, King's son take over the king's role. Like that. Still, they are all holding positions. Text 62. Vaitanike karmani yan. Vaitanike karmani yan. Nama di brahma vadi vi. Nama di brahma vadi vi. Agniya istayo yajne. Agniya istayo yajne. Nirupyante agnayastute. Nirupyante agnayastute. These 49 fire gods are the beneficiaries of the oblations offered in the very Sacrificial fire by impersonalist Brahmanas. <coughs> so various fire gods and the obligations, they are attracted to those things. Text 63. Agnishvata Barhishada. Agnishvata Barhishada. Samya Pitara Ajyapa. Samya Pitara Ajyapa. Satnayo Nag. Nayastation, Sadayo, Dakshayani Swada, Patni Dakshayani Swada. The Agnisvatas, the Barhishadas, the Saumyas, and the Ajyapas are the Pitas. They are either Sagnika or Niragnika. The wife of all these Pitas is Swada who's the daughter of King Daksha. Okay, don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, this is, you know, on your own, like I said, you may you not even read all this. You may just skip to the... But by reading all this, you get purified. And later on, you'll understand better and better. I, I don't know, this some of these names. It's too complicated. Even with the chart is get, getting complicated. The chart is only partial. Yeah. Text sixty four. Even if you draw even if you draw the genealogy on your own, you'll have so many missing Yeah. <laughs> it's a lifelong project. You have to go through all the Puranas to fill in the gaps. <laughs> So we should have this. Mm -hmm. Maybe you all start now and three, four generations later, yeah, someone will be finishing it. <laughs> Genealogy <laughs> period. Yeah. And we are already, we are planning for our family. You are all, so you are going back to who? No, for our own family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I am saying now, going back to who? <laughs> Krishna. Text <laughs> <Like> 64. <laughs> Sebhyo dadara kanye de Sebhyo dadara kanye de Vayunam darinim swada Vayunam darinim swada Vete brahma vadinyao Vete brahma vadinyao Jnana vijnana paragi Jnana vijnana paragi you see, huh? this Maitreya Rishi could remember all these things. <laughs> Swada, who was offered to the Pitas, begot two daughters named Vayuna and Darini, both of whom were impersonalists and were expert in transcendental and Vedic knowledge. There you go. You also, impersonalists are also taking birth. 
Right. In the demigods and so on. Yeah, exactly. Everything must be there. Exactly. So then it's complete. Otherwise, Krishna is incomplete. Everything must be there. The good and the bad. Text 65. Bhavasya Patnitu Sati Bhavasya Patnitu Sati Bhavam Devam Manuvrata Bhavam Devam Manuvrata Atmana Sadrisham Putram Atmana Sadrisham Putram Nale Beguna Shilata Nale Beguna Shilata The sixteenth daughter whose name was Sati was the wife of Lord Shiva. She could not produce a child, although she always faithfully engaged in the service of her husband. Text 66. So, if you look at the style of this writing, mm-hmm. as soon as a person is introduced, all the key points are already mentioned in the same sentence. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's very the, intense. That's very precise. Compact. That's precise. Don't waste time. <laughs> Text 66. <laughs> <laughs> Pitari Aprati Rupe Sve Pitari Aprati Sve Bhava Yana Gase Rusha Bhava Yana Gase Rusha Praudai Vatman Atmanam Praudai Vatman Jahad Yoga Samyuta Reason is that Sati's father Daksha used to rebook Lord Shiva in spite of Shiva's faultlessness. Consequently, by attaining a mature age, Sati gave up her body by dint of yogic mystic power. So here, he is. He talked about all the sixteen daughters, and the last one he said she didn't have any progeny. So the reason is this, because Daksha did some offense, and so let's. And so he. So then, Maitreya. I mean. Vidura wants to know and then the story is explained. Yeah. So Prabhupada, this is explained by Vidura actually explains this to Maitreya. Okay. And Maitreya has not even no. Maitreya. Uddhava explains it to Maitreya. And Maitreya now is explaining to Vidura. Vidura. Uddhava and Maitreya were different styles. Not the same at the same time. Oh. Oh. Because Uddhava was the one explained. They don't explain Maitreya, right? He just Vidura to go to Maitreya. Yeah. Now, Maitreya heard from Krishna. Krishna directly. Yeah. 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 Where were you all? <laughs> yeah, both were listening at the same time. No, Krishna was speaking to Uddhava and Maitreya came. So, Krishna knew he's there, but he didn't say you cannot listen. So, by association, he was purified and he could understand because he wasn't qualified before but krishna didn't explain all this to you know, he got it from us right? <laughs> 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 they don't know 